Hello again, AZ from Digital Goja Showrooms. Today we're going to take a look at a question that's being asked in some of our customer service questions, our YouTube blogs, and Amazon and eBay questionnaires. What do these wide angle normal lenses and telephoto millimeters mean? How are they different depending on the camera? And of course it does depend whether you're working with a full frame or a crop sensor. If this video helps you out, remember to hit us up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future unboxing sessions and tutorials such as this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Now, we've all seen the millimeter designations on a lot of these lenses. This one, for example, says it's a 70 to 300 millimeter. What does that mean? Well, that means that it is a telephoto zoom and when I put it onto a full frame camera, like for example, this very popular EOS 6D, it now gives you the same perspective that it says here. It's a telephoto lens. That means it's going to crop in on your subject matter optically, not digitally, and bring it much closer. Now, I can use that same lens on a crop sensor camera like this very popular EOS Rebel T6i. And when I mount this on here, it's also gonna be a telephoto zoom, but it also has much more magnification due to the fact that this is a crop sensor camera. So in turn, it will be 1.6 times closer than the millimeters that it is indicated on there. So when you go to use a crop sensor camera, you always have to make sure that you have a lens that's appropriate for it. So for example, here's an example that right on this camera it comes with the very popular 18 to 135 which means it's a very useful all-around zoom lens it starts at 18 millimeter which is a nice wide angle for this crop sensor camera and then you zoom all the way up to a 135 millimeter short telephoto zoom that gives you the wide perspective and a small telephoto now you've also seen these these are what are called fisheye lenses. This one happens to be an Altura 8mm fisheye. Now, this lens is meant for, of course, crop sensor cameras. So when I put it on here, it does give me that 180 degree perspective. But if I mount it onto a full frame camera, I will no longer have that perspective and it'll actually crop in on the sensor. It gives you a circular design in your image. Not a full circular design like you get on the crop sensor. It only gives you a circular design right dead center. And I'll post some pictures with this video showing you the differences between both. But again, since this lens is meant for APS size sensors, it would not be recommended for the proper perspective needed for a full frame camera. Then you have your short normal perspective lenses. This is a very popular 50 millimeter 1.8. This is what is referred to as the nifty 50. This is very popular for both full frame and crop sensor cameras. Why? Because when I put it on the crop sensor camera, I have a perfect portrait lens that's a constant f-stop of 1.8. And when I go ahead and put it onto the full frame 6D, I now have a perfect normal perspective that's the supposed human eye perspective 50 millimeter which is great for all around shooting so again prime lens workable with both systems it just gives you a different perspective in shooting and then of course there's this category these big huge super zoom telephoto lenses this one happens to be a very popular one from sigma it's a 150 to 600 millimeter. Now, this is again a lens that is designated for full frame. And the way that Sigma designates that is they call it a DG type lens, which means it's for full frame. So when I put it onto my 6D, it does give me a 150 to 600 millimeter perspective. But the nice thing is, I can also use it on my crop sensor camera, but I now have much more magnification because since it is a smaller sensor, this guy is going to give you much more magnification on it. So that's the beauty of also being able to work with a crop sensor camera. You do have the greater magnification, especially with these super zooms. And last but not least, 
there are the all-around zooms. This one happens to be a very popular one from Tamron. This is an 18 to 270 millimeter. And now this is designated for crop sensor. And they give it that designation by calling it a DI Series 2. The DI Series 2 means that this is for crop sensor cameras. So this will be a perfect all-around zoom lens for your EOS Rebel because it's a lens that gives you a wide millimeter, 18, and ends up at a 270 millimeter. So it's almost as much magnification as walking with this guy and with the 18 to 135 that we have here, but you now have it in one small package. But the drawback is this, again, being for crop sensor, will not work properly on a full frame camera because it'll give you that circular image right dead center and you'll lose megapixels and image quality. And as I said, I will post some images showing the differences between these two, both on a full frame and on a crop sensor camera. Happy shooting. <laughs>